I've got great reactions. I can punch fast, I can punch hard. I can see punches coming when someone throws them at me. I can get out of the way of them punches and come back with punches on my own. Well, how can I do this? It's because I work on different reaction drills like I'm gonna give you on this video. And all you need is a tennis ball. These five reaction drills are fantastic. Really gonna help you improve your overall hand, eye, and foot coordination. The drill at the end of the video will really help you improve your head movement as well so if someone throws a punch at you you can get out of the way of it and come back with a punch of your own so make sure you stay at the end and watch that one starting with number five this drill is something that i used to see the russian amateur boxing team do all the time they would be in this boxing stance like this with a tennis ball and they're going to bounce the ball and move their feet and if you notice the hand that i'm not bouncing the ball with is up by my face i never want to drop the non-bouncing ball hand i'm keeping my feet apart i'm on my toes I'm moving around, keeping good form, good technique. But with this drill, you can do it for a full round if you like, just moving. And this right here is helping my hand, eye, and foot coordination. Moving on to number four. Now, it's the same as number five, but we're gonna really advance it. We're gonna be bouncing that ball. Then as we bounce it with our right hand, we're gonna catch it with our left in a punch and then throw a combination behind it. So I'm bouncing with my right, catch it with my left in a punch, throw a combination, then move. And if I bounce it with my left hand, I catch it with a right hand punch, <laughs> then full combo, then back to the bouncing. Alternating it up, change it up, bounce it, catch the punch, throw that combo. Moving on to number three. Number three, you need two balls. That's why I've brought Glenn in, because he's got two balls. Well, here you go. Now he's got the two balls. And this one is great for reactions. What we're going to do is, I'm going to be in my boxing stance in front of Glenn. He's going to randomly drop a ball. I've got to get there and catch the ball with one hand after it bounces just one time. And it's like this, staying in my boxing stance position. And as you can see here, this is great for reactions, my man. Great drill. Let's move on to number two. All you're going to do with this one is get in your boxing stance, holding your jab hand out with the ball in your hand. I'm going to drop that ball, and as the ball is dropping, I'm going to quickly throw that right hand and catch the ball before it falls. Now from there, I'm going to do the same with my right. Drop the ball, catch it with the left. Smash the cameraman with the ball just like that. That's not how you do it. And this right here, as long as you've got good form, is really helping with that focus. Now you can see how focused I am when I'm doing this. And focus is a big thing in boxing, as I'm sure you know. And one thing that will really help your focus, that helps me, is Alpha Brain from Onnit. This is a great supplement that I heard Joe Rogan talking about, how he loves it. It's 100% legit. If I go to a UFC and I don't have Alpha Brain, I panic. <laughs> I really do. I, I take it before every podcast. I, I even oftentimes take it on the air, just to let people know, like, I really take this. And I tried it and I was kind of blown away. It helps support memory, support focus. And I take this every time I'm doing a video shoot like this, or I need to really focus in on some work. And what Onnit are doing for you is giving you 15 days free trial of Onnit Alpha Brain. All you've got to do is click the link below and you'll get 15 days for free. Check it out and you can thank me later. Okay now, let's move on to the big one. The one that's going to help you move your head and get better reactions. Now this final drill is fantastic. I'm going to give you two different variations of it. The second one is harder than the first one. So we're going to be standing against the wall or have your boxer against the wall. And what I'm going to do, I'm going to throw the ball aiming for his head. He's got to have his hands up in his boxing stance and slip out the way of it. So this is variation one. And as you can see there, I'm going straight for his head. If he doesn't move, it'll hit him straight in the head. Now there's a couple of things I could do to advance that. One, I could step closer, which is going to make it a lot more difficult for him, or I could stay where I am and throw it a lot faster, which is both great things to do. Now the second variation of this, I'm going to throw the ball at him. He's going to slip out of the way, and then he's going to come back with counter punches, and it'll look like this. Now these are great drills for you to do, but if you want some exercises that you can do to make you punch faster, click here and watch this video next where I'll give you three exercises to improve your hand speed. Click here.